Hey everybody, welcome to another day. God bless you. Uh, we made it to another day. So I'm going to begin first of all with in the name of God, most high, most compassionate, most merciful. So briefly, I'm going to make a quick video here on um, some archetypes that are used in scripture um, describing um, the devil. Uh, they, they use the serpent. And basically, from what I've learned, the serpent is used as um, uh, to describe uh, the devil, meaning that it is used in terms that, uh, like a snake sheds its skin. Um, these are ancient secrets that uh, basically, like a person, like they shed their skin, they they die. But a portion of them lives on again um, and continues life. So this is why the serpent is used to describe the devil. Um, because it is a man who God created, who has passed away. And evidently God has granted them some form of existence, of continuance. Um, not really sure, but... Uh, the serpent is used as an uh, analogy, or analogy, or I guess that's the correct word, but they have shed their skin, and yet they live on uh, as basically a spirit, uh, a f form of uh, consciousness, energy. Uh, the dragon is used. Um, uh, the dragon um, just uh, is used as a... As like it's, that's another like a serpent archetype that uh, well, the dragon is often depicted as, as having legs and um, wings. So this is uh, um, like a, a higher level of serpent energy. Someone who has passed away and yet they uh, live on. Uh, the wings meaning uh, is reflecting like they can traverse different mediums of energies uh, through the air, through the waters, through uh, matter. Uh, they are like divers. They can explore things. So I don't know. Uh, but these were some of my thoughts on, um, on these archetypes that... Uh, no one will really tell you these things, but um, these were like ancient teachings of uh, immortality. Uh, but basically, uh, these are also like vampires. These they can become very evil, corrupted, uh, and uh, you see, like I'm kind of down here in my basement. Because, like, these beings are, like, highly psychic. And their psychic powers, um, they use them for evil sometimes. For a spiritual attack. And, uh, so if you have a basement or something, like, you probably should make a place down there, um, to hang out. It should be a good idea anyway to create a space, if you have a basement, to where you can, um, you know, like, a, a shelter, uh, from uh, energies, radiation, uh, storms, uh, and spiritual attacks. So, God bless you all. These are just some of my thoughts on these uh, two archetypes, these serpent archetypes. So, God bless you all. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.